these wolves are taking their time to get used to the crew and me. This is really interesting. As they're approaching, they're kind of chatting to each other, just kind of figuring out who's going to be the first to be allowed, probably to come in and talk to Tess, not to me. Hello. Hey. Hello. Wow. Okay. Now they're starting to build up their confidence. They're still playing around with each other. There's still definitely some nerves going on. The fighting and the nipping and the scratching and the biting, it all has a real function of keeping the team together and keeping everyone in their right positions. It also gives you a really good look at those teeth. The canines are huge, utterly ferocious. Wolves have a bite twice as strong as our German Shepherd police dog. Tess knows each wolf and their different personalities. As they come closer, they greet her by licking her face. Although they might seem very much like domestic dogs, these wolves are still wild animals and our movements have to be slow and cautious. As they approach, they're very much being led by that canine super sense smell. You can see what comes in first. Always the nose, always sussing things out with that incredible sense of smell first. 2,000 times more powerful than ours. That phenomenal sense of smell is used to track prey from over a mile away in the wild. They're gradually starting to get more and more confident, checking out Nick the sound man and Johnny the cameraman, getting closer and closer. But as they approach, I mustn't let myself forget how deadly these animals really are. And the wolves are quick to remind me who's in charge. Go on, look. Ooh. I think I might have moved a little bit too fast there and just got snapped at. Just to show that there's nothing in my hands. Wow. It's just a, just a nibble, but even so, as individuals, wolves are awesome predators. But it's when they come together as a pack that they are really deadly. The way they bring themselves together, particularly before a hunt, is using a howl. And we're gonna try that now and see if we can get these guys to join in. Should we give it a go? Give it a go. It's working. The howl can be heard by other wolves over six miles away and also acts as a warning signal to rival packs to stay away. And what a wonderful, eerie, chilling, stunning sound. 